Blake. What's up? Okay, actually, hold on. Stay right there and then speak when I tell you to. Hold on. I'm going to get a comment that's like, you should be nicer to Blake. Hello, hello, I am Alexandra Ray, and I am so happy you're here. Today, we are doing four by One Direction with Blake McLean. Blake, say hi. What's up, everyone? He is on Discord with me, and we are going to be playing What Songs Did Ed Sheeran Help Write? Name the Influences, and he's going to be pointing out all of the fun production stuff that I will inevitably miss. Um, you guys love the Midnight Memories reaction, so of course we are going to do m more One Direction because I love them, Blake loves them, you guys love them, and I'm a full-on stand now. So if you've not yet, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel, um, and uh, please check out my Patreon. We've got a lot of cool stuff. I've posted something new on Patreon every single day for a week. Please subscribe to my Twitch. We've been doing most of these reactions live on Twitch, and I have a ton of fun talking about the songs and the albums and the music videos live with you guys as we do them. So without further ado, I don't think I missed anything. I have no idea what I'm doing. We're going to jump right into four. And the only song that I've heard of four, Steal My Girl. Blake's being held hostage. He does say, <laughs> it did sound like he was being held hostage. He sounds like he's like in my closet. And I was like, you can speak now. <laughs> Oops, okay. All right, let's do Steal My Girl. Blake, what makes that sound? The da 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 da. Da -da. What is that? Say that again because I'm pretty sure it's probably like a Juno synth, like what Jack is. Fucking Juno synth. Thing. Fucking Juno. No. Do you hear what I'm talking about? Yeah, it might be, but it's it probably isn't. Honestly, it just sounds like it's a sample. It might even be a sample of one of their vocals. Of oh, their vocals, just like taken yeah, really high. Yeah. And then cut, yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. The Taylor does a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really fun way to kind of just give it a little bit of spice that, like, you know, in a way that nobody else can use that sample. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah, okay. It, I, that's really cool. I really like that. Okay, I'm starting to get over. That just melted my fucking heart. Oh, also, I just realized something. Tell me. So now that I said that those are voices, which I've never paid attention to, it almost sounds like they're saying, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running over and over again. Is and this, you're not going to be able to unhear it. Is it this, like, this going to be the American Horror Story intro conversation all over again? Maybe, maybe, <laughs> but it sounds like that. <laughs> like, oh, God. Well, do they play it again? Yeah, it's, it's okay, every okay, okay. time that, that beat comes in, it says, gen, 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 gen. it sounds like, I'm running, I'm running. Okay, I'm running. okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is, because, like, in ta Taylor, in Reputation, she went into the studio for... I did something bad and was like, what makes this sound? And Max Martin was like, nothing. Like, we're just going to have to take your vocals and do the da 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 And they just edited that. And that's what made the yep. sound in that. So that, that makes sense. All right, who's got the list? It's time. We're on the first fucking song of the album. Who has the list? Add, you have to write the equivalent 
of Steal My Girl to the list. We have Perfect Now. We have Strong. We have the ability to wear glitter eyeshadow. We have the willingness to dye your hair blue or lavender. We have corsets and leather. And now we have Steal My Girl. Am I missing anything? Oh, ballet. We're on the first fucking song. I don't know. <laughs> arrow heart. Oh, my name tattooed in arrow heart. Here's the issue. If I add accent, I'm just simply just describing Louis Tomlinson. Um, Not true. You know, you could take a chance on someone else. <laughs> Are you watching my stream? Yep. I'm sweating now. <laughs> Oh, the, wait, what was that? Wait, 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 stop. Every, hold on. Okay, I'm not forgetting that. Blake, you're... But, okay, what was that guitar tone? Is that a guitar? Blake. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Play it again. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Oh, uh, God. Is that a guitar? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's it. sick. I fucking love yeah. that. It's that like sort of like country, like solely like blues. Oh, event. I love that shit. <laughs> Grandpa Blake fell asleep sitting up. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> we're on, we're, we are literally a minute and 30 seconds into this fucking album and we're <laughs> on fucking hinged already. I am a thirsty bitch, unfortunately. My list for future partners is turning into a novel. Um, I'm the thirstiest of bitches, and I am not prepared for what Zayn Malik's about to do to me. She knows, she knows that I never let it down before. She knows, she knows that I'm never gonna let another take a love from me now. Everybody wants to steal my girl. Ah. Everybody wants to take a long away. Come on, living in the whole wide world. We'll find another one because she belongs to me. Yes, fucking sir. All right, Blake, the piano. Um, Come on. Is is that Journey? It's Journey. Yep. Yeah. It's it's the it's the way it's like. 
it's like a more forward sort of like 80s ish piano but it's also the the progression that's being used so okay. but it's not exactly journey like that's one thing no that they did. no it's it's very it's very journey influenced but also more recently it it reminds me of train mm, i could see that so um yeah i mean zane I just love like every fucking song like this, every boppy song like this, Zane hits the last chorus and he's like, all right, y'all just like move aside. It's time. It's time for the clinic. It's time for the masterclass. Like, oh go. God. Ugh. Ugh. That shit makes me want to run through a fucking wall. Oh God. So fucking good. That guitar. I can't get over that guitar tone. That guitar tone is so good. And like, does the song need it? If you take it out with the song fall apart? No. But like, it's just one of those it's things. Black line. Yeah, it's just like, it just, it, it makes it so much, you hear it and you're like, fuck, I didn't know I needed that. Like, it doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. Like, it won't fall apart without it. But God, it's so good. Like, like, yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Like, you, you like hear it and you're like, oh my gosh, like I would miss that if it wasn't there. But you didn't know that you needed it. And the same with the, like, I want to go back and listen to the, because Blake, Blake says those vocal lines say something. I don't, and I, I am convinced that they are vocal lines now and that they, that they fucked with them. Just listen to that beginning real quick. Yeah. 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 All right, so we have straight piano here. It's this. No, okay, I hear it. It's a, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. That's what it sounds like to me. And so it's just like it's chopped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I mean, without that, I mean, that, it's like, the, it's the same thing. Like that and that guitar tone, we don't need it. The song won't fall apart, but like, damn, I'm happy it's there. Like, mm. All right, guys, now we are doing Ready to Run. And y'all have said that this shit, I need to pay attention to the lyrics, which y'all know I do. Y'all know I do. So here we go. Classic. <laughs> There's a lightning in your eyes I can't deny Then there's me inside a sinking boat Running out of time Without you I'll never make it out alive But I know, yes I know we'll be alright There's a devil in your smile that's chasing me And every time I turn around it's only gaining speed There's a moment when you finally realize there's no way you can change the rolling tide But I know, yes I know I've not even looked yet, did Louis write this song? Um, I think so, yeah, I think Louis and Liam worked on it together Dude. I was just thinking about something else, like that, that do to god to do is Oh my god, I know what it is, holy shit Oh, tell me It's Good Riddance I don't think I know that one Cause I was Green. thinking that Cause I was thinking Um that it sounds like, um, what's that, um, that Hey Brother song? It kind of reminds me of that. Alex, it's this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying That's it reminds me. I'm saying, oh my God. Yeah. I never caught that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, those, I, 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 like this, these lyrics, um, I listened to copy of a copy of a copy for the first time the other day. And these lyrics remind me of, of that, um, in depth. So I was like, this has got to be Louie. Like, I feel <sighs> there's a lightning in your eyes. I can't deny. Then there's me inside a sinking boat running out of time without you. I'll never make it out alive. But I know, yes, I know we'll be all right. There's a devil in your smile. It's chasing me. And every time I turn around, it's only gaining speed. Like, what the fuck, Louie? There's a moment when you finally realize there's no way you can change the rolling tide. But I know, yes, I know that I'll be fine. 
pretty like killer. Absolutely. Fucking killer. Ki- fucking ki- fucking killer. Fucking lord. Oh my god. <laughs> Louis Tomlinson, everyone. And Liam. Liam. I mean like I, listen y'all, I love Liam too. I'm like t- She's on board. I'm in. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'll be fine. This time I'm ready to run. Escape from the city and follow the sun. Cause I wanna be yours. Cause I wanna be mine. I don't wanna get lost in the dark of the night. This time I'm ready to run. Wherever you are is the place I belong. Cause I wanna be I, I think lyrically, too, Louis loves playing with that concept of home being where he came from, but also, like, wherever the person that he loves is, but we're also wherever his friends are, wherever he feels safe, wherever he feels happy, you know, like, all of those things. Thank you for the posture check. Um, you know, like, so I, I think that is a very, like, Louis lyrical concept. Um, so... I, so I think that is more of a, a Louis inspo. I would like I would like to I would like the breakdown of who wrote which lyrics because I would I've not heard any songs yet to like give me what like to to see into like what Liam's lyrical tendencies are yet. You know what I mean? You know? Yeah. So to to make me hear something and be like, oh, that's a Liam song. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. so I can give him more credit cuz I ha- I hate to be like oh my god Louie and I cuz I love Liam but like I want to hear some more songs for me to be like ah yes like those are Liam's concepts I can, I can hear Liam's like influence coming through in that. There's a future in my life I can't foresee. Unless of course I stay on course and keep you next to me. There will always be the kind of criticize. I don't know, it's a no be alright. Oh this time I'm ready to run. Escape from the city if I love the sun. Cause I wanna be did that run hold on all right blake yeah (laughs) it's not even here okay guys so like hi classically trained vocalist here so this time i'm ready to run um runs no pun intended but runs up are much harder than runs down all right Naturally, our voices are, are, are going down. Um, so like, this time I'm ready to run is much easier than this time I'm ready to run. Like, it would take me a couple times to practice that to get it as quickly as Harry. Okay, you guys said that Harry did it. To, to get that as quickly. So, um... Like, I, so, like, I just, obviously, these guys are professional singers, you know what I mean? Like, they're professional musicians, they're professional songwriters, like, whatever. But, like, when you guys hear those, like, I just, like, want to point out, like, that is a lot harder than it sounds, than it sounds like it is to do. And, I mean, maybe his voice, like, lends it more, lends itself more to runs like that. Like, everybody has their tendencies, you know? Um, but for me, upward runs are way harder than, to do than downward runs. Blake. I'm sorry, I had to run down. It's okay. It's okay. I made the point. It's okay. Do what you gotta do, bud. Yeah. So. So I don't know if any vocalists agree with me like that, but like that would take me a couple times to nail it, it rather than like, this time I'm ready to run. I'd have to break that down. You know? You are the place I belong. So what I mean- Okay, 
this, um, I don't know what song it was, but on Midnight Memories, I actually just, I don't want to get off Spotify for this, but, um, there was a song that I, Blake and I talked about, like, oh, there seems to be like a little bit like of an African music influence on this one. This, this sounds like it, um, too. So story, story, story of my life. Yeah. So this, 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 um, instrumental, like alt chorus or bridge kind of has that same feel as story of my life does. Harmonies, yes, sir. That's fucking banger. I like that one. Oh, the chokehold Louis Tomlinson has on me. Oh yes. Yeah, no, I that I love that. I really do love that. I'm just I'm sitting here reading the lyrics again too. I love. I think lyrically too, Louis. Another thing that he loves to do is verse one are the really poetic convoluted lyrics like lightning in your eyes me in a sinking boat you know devil in your smile it's gaining speed you know they're very convoluted they're very poetic they're very like you know like eloquent and then the chorus is you know it's it's a catchy chorus he's great at that he's very good at a hooky chorus and then the second verse is like breaking down what he meant in the first one so there's a future in my life i can't foresee unless i stay on course and keep you next to me you know and that's that it's a lot simpler it's less poetic not i don't mean like less beautiful i don't mean like bad but it's it's much simpler like hey this is what i meant by that you know what i mean mm. Mm. it's a good one and we're two I'm, songs in i'm excited for where do broken hearts go well i'm terrified so all right, here we go, babes. Oh, I'm fucking sorry. And that is Don't Stop Believing. It's also Pillow Talk. <laughs> um, That first, da, 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 that is Don't Stop Believing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not emotionally prepared for this. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, all right. That's not what I thought that it was going to be. Counted all my mistakes and there's only one Standing out from the list of the things I've done All the rest of my crimes don't come close To the look on your face when I let you go So I built you a house from a broken home And I wrote you a song with the words you spoke What? Yup. Then I wrote you a song with the words you spoke Oh my god, that's pretty hurtful words. I just, I wrote that. Oh, fuck me. Shit. Guy, guys, I just, Blake, we, we, I was in the car the other, you guys don't care, and I'm telling you anyway, though, because it's my stream. Um, I, we were in the car the other day, and Blake was in the car, and he, I, he was, I was, like, explaining, like, I'm a masochist, I hurt my own feelings, and I love that shit, and I love it when people write songs about me and I write songs about other people cause like pretty hurtful words make me fall in love with people. And I like writing pretty hurtful words about other people. And then I wrote a song called pretty hurtful words. And it was about like how, if you write a song about somebody and they know it's about them and they're the only other person in the world that knows that that song's about them, how it's like that, like this is the feeling. Fucking hell. <sighs> I'm scared. It took me some time, but I figured out how to fix up a heart that I left. Top of the list. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't, I, like, I'm gonna have to, like, decompress after this shit. This is the third fucking song. Okay. Number one, is Ed Sheeran on this song? No. Are you sure? Teddy Geiger, Who's actually. on, who is on this song? Who's on the song? Julian Benetti, Teddy, or Julian Benetta, um, Teddy Geiger, Harry Styles, um, hold on. Um, Ali Temposi, Ruth Ann Cunningham are all of the writers. And Ed Sheeran. No. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at 18 right now. I'm looking at Ed Sheeran. Ed is not on this. Y yes, he is. Where are you looking? Where did Broken Hearts go? I'm on the gen I'm on Genius. There's no Ed on this? No, I mean, he's not on the credits on Spotify. Okay, maybe they had it wrong. Uh, I'm not looking at chat because I don't want you guys to tell me. I thought I, I heard the um, so this is the line that made me think that he is anyone in between is the enemy shadows come with the pain that you're running from love with something you never heard enough. That's what made me think Ed is on this one. Gotcha. I can see that. So it's not melodically. It was like a line that reminded me of early Ed writing. That is funny that it says on, on here that Ed wrote on it. I'm going to look into this a little bit more and I'll let you know. No, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. I just like, when I, I asked you that and then I scrolled down and was like, oh yeah, fuck he is. And so then, and I was like, oh, okay. So, all right. If you, I mean, if you got that, I'd be like, wow. Okay. I've never, I never even caught that. It was just that line. Cause now, cause ever since Pixie said it before we started the album, like, play who what songs ed wrote on i was like i'm i'm looking for it and so i, I looked at and the so i built you a house from a broken home that seemed like a very ed ed lyric too so yeah okay continuing on chat i'm not looking so i can't guess what other songs he's on <laughs> but yeah this this is it this is a bop i love this song this is sad as fuck and it's disguised it's disguised like, and that, that, I don't know why this took me out so much. Um, where did, are you sleeping baby by yourself or are you giving it to someone else? That is a very multifaceted lyric. Yikes. Oh no. Hold on, we're gonna start the bridge over. We're gonna start that 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 the guitar tone moment the moment of silence for that guitar tone. Did we it's hear that? Gorgeous. It's Holy got like a nice crunch to it. Fuck, I also, loved I that. Discogs. I went on Discogs and they don't have that either. Okay, it must have just been a mistake then. That's fine. Yeah. No, I'm kind of like doing the thing where like you buy a car and then you see that car on the road everywhere you go just because you're looking for it. Like, so, I'm like, you know, now I'm just looking for Ed and everything. I'm like, did he write that lyric? And then I scrolled down and was like, yes, I got one. Like, I read in this. But I didn't. Um, God, that guitar tone. Oh, hold on. I'll start the bridge over. Tell me now. Tell me now. Tell me where you're going. You feel a friend. Damn. Oh, what the fuck? Are you sleeping, baby? 
I just say yes. that I love the fact that every single time Louis sings, you're yelling his name like he's going to show up at the front door. And <laughs> I can't. I just like, it's like him and Michael, I forget they're in the fucking band. I, it's like, I don't know why. I know he's there. I know Louis in the band. I know Michael's in the band, but they open their mouth and I'm like, oh my God, hi, how are you? Oh my God, it's so good to see you. And I just get excited. <laughs> It's great. Especially because he doesn't sing enough on these. Like, I want, I need more, you know? Yep. It's just like, you know? I feel like his, now his solo stuff, his live performances, he's like so forward and he's like so confident and he's so like bad boy, you know? And like in the 1D days, he's just like, he's like, like shy almost and like only gets a couple lines, you know? I don't know. Like, wait for no control. Um, the, the fact that you said that at the same time that like five people in the chat said, wait for no control, oh, I'm, really? I'm going to, I'm going to combust. <laughs> um, okay. I went to Chicago once. Chicago's a great place. Blake. Wink, wink. I'm going to be on TMZ tomorrow. Be like. Nashville YouTuber has man held a hostage in her closet. Like, I, number one, have I told you guys today that I hate 18 by five sauce? Have I told you that? Um, Cause if not, I'm gonna say it, all right. Number two, um, I um, have been warned. I am now on notice, all right, that this song is going to make me cry on the internet. So I cannot get on Twitter after this and say nobody warned me. All right. Number three, um, I have been also warned that this is going to go on my list. So let's listen to fucking 18. Okay. 18. I'm going to know immediately. I got a song. That's Ed Sheeran. Yep. Is this an Ed Sheeran song? I, because... I figured you would get it just by the guitar. That to, to, uh, it's, yeah. it's not yeah. just that, but Pointless by Louis Capaldi. That's the exact same melodic line at the beginning. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he, like he loves that. that. Da, 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 da. It's the same thing as like, da, 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 da. So you is can kiss. Me. That's the same as photograph. Yeah. What? So I went through and I looked at how Ed Sheeran writes his songs and if there are any similarities between them. Mm -hmm. And what I found is one, it is almost the exact same guitar riff every single song, the same pattern. It's the get, do, get, do, get, get. Like photograph is that, castle on the hill is that, 18 is that. Um, little things is that like it, Blake, can you hear me on stream and then he always goes to so, the three which is exactly what you know the funny thing is for the verses Blake and tells me this at least every other courses. day and then forgets and then tells me again uh oh what there you are what did you mute yourself you did you no mean, no what did she say nothing chat help <laughs> nothing <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> Lunar, thank you for the follow. What did I do? Oh, you sweet, precious boy. You're just a wealth of knowledge, Blake. Okay. It was very, it was very interesting. Nobody. <laughs> That's nice, darling. Yep, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, sweetheart. Go on, tell the pe tell the people what you learned. Fine, whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then it goes with three, and then what? Oh, I don't know. Nothing. No, tell me. I don't think it does anything. Tell me. <laughs> tell me. Oh. It just stays on the three the entire time. That's what it is. No, tell me, Blake. Chunks. God. 
I was t- I was telling them that you tell me this every couple days, and then you forget, and then you tell me again. Well, that's true, but I didn't know if there were new people here. That okay, maybe- okay, then tell us. Tell them. Tell them. You're right. Tell them. I don't think that this song can be sung in a not British accent. <laughs> On pouting, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Continue the song. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. Oh god. I'm starting it over. Can you tell us again? Please. Can I talk, can I talk again? Tell us the Ed Sheeran theory right now, please. Yes. Okay, fine. Okay. One, one you can't sing any of his songs unless you sing it in the British accent like this one. I have loved you since we were 18. Like, you can't do it. Yeah, because you don't sing it. You just kind of, like, rhythmically yep. speak it. Yep. Um, and then the other thing is, so, every Ed Sheeran song basically has the same beat to it. It's that da 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 Same thing. Mm-hmm. And he always starts the verses on the three, and then he goes to the five for the choruses or the one for the chorus, depending on where he goes for the pre-chorus, which is generally the two. So, anyways, that is my wealth of knowledge. Continue. And that's how he writes all of his songs. We took a chance. And then he just sells and then he just sells them to everybody else. Sells them to everybody. Or keeps them. Mm-hmm. Alright. See? Was that, that so hard? No, yeah, you did great. Great. Is that electric layered with strings? Uh, yes. Oh, I like that. I've never heard that. Give me I only use them both. We made a start. Be it a false one I know. Baby, I So kiss me where I lay down my hands pressed to your cheeks A long way from the playground I have loved you since we were 18 Long before we both thought the same thing Why would you pause it there? I, I, I kiss. My heart's gonna fucking explode. <laughs> we took a chance. <laughs> Go oh. try. All right, all right. We're gonna run it back. Took a chance. Chance. God knows you try. Yet all along, I knew we'd be fine. Aww. So pour me a drink. Oh no. Oh. Let's put the night wide open, and we'll see everything we can. Live in love in slow motion, motion, motion. So kiss me where I lay 
a long way from the playground. Oh, I love that run. I've loved you since we were 18. Chloe! Long before we both thought the same thing. To be loved and to be loved. And all I could do was say that these arms were made for holding you. Don't under God damn it. Fuck. Why does his voice do that to me? It's like the other guys are like, it's fine, it's fine. Louie. Like <sighs> fucking hell. I feel like I've never known love. I <laughs> that's how I feel. <laughs> that's how I feel. I feel like if nobody can sing that to me. Because, uh, yeah, like, like, I feel like, hold on, I'm, I'm, same thing, kiss me where I like, lay. yeah, it's fine, Harry can fucking sing, like, yeah, down my hands pressed to your cheeks, fucking awesome, a long way from the playground, oh, uh, that, like, that run is heavenly. Like, play ground. Like, that, that's good run. Great run. Loved you since we were 18. Are you fucking kidding me? Long before we both thought the same thing. Or, or Zane, sorry. Zane, Zane, not Harry. Zane, sorry. I meant, I meant Zane. It's my, it's my brain. Like, and then... I lay down my hands pressed to your cheeks A long way from the playground I have loved you since we were 18 Long before we both thought the same thing To be loved and to be loved And all I could do was uh. say I don't, and like, I, I, like, okay, here's the thing. I am usually a person, I don't cry to things unless I can, like, very directly relate to them. So, like, happily, that's happily wrecked my shit because, like, that's kind of my life <laughs> right now. Like, something great wrecked my shit because that's kind of my life right now, but also Louie. Um, but like Louis's voice, I don't know who is making the executive decision to, to, to place his voice right there, but like they fucking killed it. Cause like there's just something about like like the depth of the other four guys' vocals. Like it's like so big, they fill the room, you know, they're wonderful. And then Louis is like so delicate. It's not. And I read, I read every. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna out myself right here. I've read every critic review to faith in the future every fucking one of them all right all of them and the biggest bad critic review was that louis tomlinson's voice was thin okay they don't know vocals all right they his voice is not thin it is delicate all right mm -hmm. they don't call you don't you don't call billy eilish's voice thin all right you don't call um sabrina carpenter's voice thin all right you don't you know they don't they're delicate they can't do the same thing adele does they can't do the same thing olivia rodrigo does it's delicate 
Louis Tomlinson can't do what Zane does. He can't do what Harry does. He can't do what Louis Capaldi does. But it's they can't do what he does. You know what I mean? They he can't they can't bring the same intimacy that Louis can. That's why you need Louis in these parts. Something great would not be the same song that it is if anyone else did the outro but Louis. Like that has been in my head, by the way, for days. That I so fucking good. You know, like, and that's that's my that like I I like I like personally offended by the critic reviews for Faith in the Future, and that especially those comments calling his voice them. And I'm like, do y'all know like do y'all like have you ever taken a vocal lesson in your fucking life? Like, have you ever like like okay like. <sighs> I'm calming down. I'm calming down. My blood pressure's rising. I'm, I'm feeling it rise. All right. Are you so ready? Let's go. Fucking hell! What's that? Which one? Da, 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 da. What is that? I think it's mostly vocals. Um, is it? But- Play it again, play that little bit, or just keep it playing and I'll tell you. I think they're bagpipes. Stop, are you fucking kidding me? I'm pretty sure those are bagpipes. Do they have bagpipes on this fucking song? That's, that's, that's pretty amazing. Oh my god. I wonder whose idea that was. I love fucking One Direction! said this before but i went to church for 24 years and i feel more now in this moment than i ever have in a church service and i was pentecostal for a time okay so like this shit is religious what okay the influence yes at least one of them because there's a couple here okay so like there this is like they're like four songs squished together but it works um like so the only only believer that's gospel it feels like um yeah to me at least um i don't i don't know what else help me the the oo is miss uh mrs robinson the he's <gasps> oh yeah yeah whoa oh, oh. yeah okay what else we got that we've then- heard I'm trying to figure out what that gun, gun, gun. What is that? Because that's something. Where where was it? And I'll pull it back. It's the. It's on that chorus. It's like in the little um little B part of the chorus. That. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Go, go. That that's something, and I cannot. Let's have another toast to the girl almighty. Let's pray we stay young, stay me. Um, Am I the only, only believer? There's something happening here. There's something happening here. The only, only believer. There. There's something happening here. I hope you feel what I'm feeling too. This is a feminist anthem. 
Oh my gosh. My camera. Uh, um, um, I'm I'm like camping. Da 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 da. What is that? Fuck. Oh god, that's gonna keep me up at night. Okay. I know it's something like. Oh crazy. my god. Oh. Trying to. Stay Wait, did he, did he just, did he just say, I'll get down on, on my knee? <laughs> oh, faith. He just said, I'll get down on my knees for you. This is, this, oh, this is a head song. Got it. Also, George Michael Faith, yeah. Yeah, he's drinking wine, and I'm like, did anyone else just hear what he said? Oh, God. Guys, why do you guys keep, like, giving me, like, thirsty-ass songs to listen to to watch me panic, about, like, on the internet about? Like, I just can't. Fucking hell. Hold on, hold on. My camera died. It, it's because Blake's on video now. <laughs> so it's just me now, guys. This is my stream now. I'm the captain now. My last name is Phillips, so I am the captain now. I'm getting wine after this, but it's stream's job. The thirst killed the camera. The thirst. Oh god. On both knees. Oh my god. Proposing, okay, calm the fu- I'll get- girl almighty, I'll get down on my knees for- <clears throat> Okay, what the fuck ever. Get down on my knees, I'll get down on my knees for you. He said- He said knees. Well, I'm not- I'm not gonna have a discussion about, like, you propose on one knee. All right, you do another thing on two knees. All right, this is getting banned and I'm gonna get fired from my job. I mean, that is the, the guitar tone, the guitar tone, the guitar tone. Like, this is where, like, Zane's, like, R&B voice, like, thrives in this, like, bluesy, jazzy, like, gospel-y, like, <sighs> blessings. Is that an organ? Is that, is that an organ with like the blows taken out of it? I think so. Yeah. I mean, just, you do that a lot for, for bridges, but the second you said it was like, less, and then I'm it wasn't pulling, I'm pulling it back. Or more bagpipe. It sounds like it's almost layered. Like I thought that the beginning. I was like, either it's a really like high, like just almost like tinny organ, or it's mm -hmm. bagpipes. And then it has that little bit of a shake to it. So I'm thinking it's bagpipes. But there, that's definitely organ. Okay. That's definitely organ. And then you down. go. Okay. I get down on my knees for you. Knees. I get down on my knees for you. 
They're singing to One Direction. Exactly. Of course. Somebody had to come and ring the doorbell. Bacchus said, excuse me. No, those are not mine for once. Those are Blake's. Those are Blake's dogs. I like how my chat now knows my dogs. They're like, right. Willow? Is that Willow? Is it Willow? <laughs> is like, Willow? Where's Willow? Oh. Nope. That's a Bacchus. <laughs> Between us both, um, we have we have five dogs, um, one, two, three, four cats. It's a lot. It's chaos. Mm -hmm. I like that one. That was fun. That's an anthem. Like, I want to see that shit live. So you remember what I said about how, like, their goal is to just, like, bring you up and then they just sort of, like, start to wreck you a little bit? Yeah. Enjoy. What's, why? I'm scared. Nope. Can I go get wine? Yeah. It's 3 p.m. here. Is that too early? No. Nah. Guys, I can't wink very well, but I try. <laughs> yeah okay i'm fo this is me focusing fools i this is me procrastinating okay this is me focusing and also procrastinating fool's gold Fucking hell. i'm already mad about this guitar i'm like a crow on a wire you're the shining distraction that makes me fly. Oh. What's that melody from? I, I don't know, but I know. Um, that's Safe and Sound by Taylor Swift. That's Safe and Sound. Is that why she went? Didn't, doesn't she have a song called Fool's Gold? No, she's got a song called Safe and Sound. Um. I, 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 I. That's the song. That's the that's the main melody in Safe and Sound. Yeah, but isn't there a song where she actually does use Google, like Fool's Gold, like the actual lyric? Isn't it on like Folklore Evermore? No. Um, okay. Are we gonna? Okay, I thought you were gonna fight me for a second. No, <laughs> I, I believe you. <laughs> I, I, I have to my question when it comes to Taylor. Um. Uh, yeah. Um. It's called Gold Rush. Love. Yeah. Gold Rush. Yeah, um, but no, the Hunger Games song is, and then the but the main melody hook is, and that's the that's the that's what it made me think of. Okay, I'm starting it over. It's a very underrated song. I'm like a crow on a wire. You're the shining distraction that makes me fly oh, oh. I'm like a boat on okay. the water You're the rays on the waves that come my mind Oh, every time But I know in my heart no, not the strings. And yeah, I I hate y'all. I just simply hate y'all. I want to. I want to write a song like this, but I also want to learn this song. It's, it's the. It's. Song. It's the. What's the line? God damn it! It's the line. You're not a constant star. That's what did it. That's Pixie. what did it. I'm. I'm with you. That if I have to put any of them in my top, you know, five. I'm like, shaking. If I, 
lies is right oh, up there. I am enjoying this. Apparently she's a masochist and I'm a sadist, and <laughs> this is just terrible. Okay. I'm the first to admit that I'm reckless. I get lost in your beauty and I can't see to fit in front of me. And I know in my heart you're just a moving pattern. And yeah, I let you use me from the day that we first met, but I'm not done with falling for you. Despite what everyone might think, I don't like watching Alex cry, and that breaks my heart, too. That is... It's, it's true. It's that... Can I... Hold on. I gotta look at the lyrics now. Oh, God. I'm covering half of Blake's face up, because I'm mad at him. <laughs> he never goes away. He does that shit when I cry, too. He's like... He's like, do you want to hear a bit? Do you want to hear a John Mulaney bit? He's like... <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. It's the inner songwriter in me. I just really want to make you cry, then make you laugh, then make you cry. But again. I know in my heart you're not a constant star. God damn it. that shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Wendy, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. um You ever listen to those songs and you're just like, God damn, why didn't I write that? Yeah. Like, that's what I've been trying to write for weeks. Yeah, you I've know? been trying to write it for, like, two years. Yep. Fucking <laughs> I feel like Blake, when he reacted to the all-too-well 10-minute version, and he kept, like, stopping and be like, sorry, guys. Like, I just... But I can't hide it. I'm, like, not emotionally stable enough to be like, give me a second. I just cry. <laughs> there have only been, like, two times when I have actually cried on camera, and it was... All too well and Matilda. Like, really? Because are... it's every fucking time I get on camera. <laughs> God, like fucking. Are you kidding? I but I don't regret falling for. <laughs> he did. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking cute. Oh, it's not cute. They're fucked. They're fucked. Don't fall for it. Don't fucking fall for it. You're fucked. <laughs> okay okay thanks guys thanks for letting me just do my fuck shit it, it truly it truly makes me a happy little bean happy little bean i'm the happiest little lima bean that there's ever been god that's such a good song after i get past the the tears mm -hmm. no we're doing fool's gold again Oh, we are? Okay. Yeah, but the studio version, because I want to hear it again. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you just want me to lose my mind. Okay. Yeah, right. no, I want the shirt off. I Wait, no, I don't want the shirt off. The chat wants that. 
We're going to listen to the song. Okay. Not happening. Everybody, forget that's going to come out of the YouTube video. Okay. I'm like a crow on a wire. This is worse. You're the shining distraction that makes me fly. Oh. I'm like a boat on the water You're the rays on the waves that come to my mind Oh, every time And I know in my heart You're not a constant star this i think it's niall like probably niall and julian bonetta i need full credits oh wow everybody jamie scott Liam, they all wrote it except for harry oh no he's on there i'm gonna say it and this could change this is the best one direction song that i've heard to date and i and like I want this injected into my bloodstream. And it could be because this is like a diary entry pulled from my life right now, but like, fuck, God, fucking damn, this shit is so good. Why does his voice, why is his voice so fucking good? Good lord, fucking hell, oh my God. I'm the first to admit that I'm reckless. I get lost in your beauty and I can't. He even said reckless. See two feet in front of me. And I know in my heart you're just a moving part. tell you exactly what Blake's doing in this moment he had a song idea so he deafened us and so he pulled out his phone so he could do a so, uh, voice recording how on earth did you know because I know you better than exactly what myself. I did. yeah oh my god I got an idea from this song and I got an idea from chat and I was like oh my god I have it and I just wrote a chorus no I know and you pulled out your phone to record it yeah yeah I know mm-hmm Yep. Damn. See right through me. Awesome. Great. Lyric. <laughs> Taylor wrote that. 
and the Archer. Well, you know, Taylor has written everything, so it doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> <laughs> we would kill each other, <laughs> Lunar. You can write an entire song of Taylor Swift lyrics and just... <laughs> no, nobody would be mad. You mean better than written. words, but Taylor Swift but Taylor Swift song yeah. titles? Yep. <laughs> Divor- we could write an album. We would get married and then get divorced and then the- we would have albums forever. Like, that would do it. Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> This is, yeah, this is marriage. Yeah, this is true. Yep. This is true. We don't have time. But it's, not like, it's not like new marriage. Like, there's not Christmas in our eyes. No, like- no. This is like we've been married for like seven years. And like, he lives, leaves his shoes out in the middle of the floor. Um, and the food in the fridge has gone moldy. And he's like playing up after I just li- listened to something soul crushing and he likes watching me cry as a and favorite pastime. That is actually my fault, but it is my fault. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. More like 70 years. Yeah, 70 years. And he goes to bed at nine o'clock while I like read a book and he wears a sleep mask. Yeah. I've been doing that since I was 20. So yeah. Mm-hmm. For the free. real question is, how do we divide custody of the 1D fandom? That's what I want to know. <laughs> who takes who in our divorce? <laughs> I get I get the Harry stands, the solo ones on the weekends. And you... <laughs> on the weekends, and then I... <laughs> Pick me! We can't choose between mommy and daddy, except I'm daddy. <clears throat> I've got candy. I've got, I've got the little candy things. So. <laughs> that sounded so creepy! I know it didn't. I was like, I have to close my... <laughs> because that was weird <laughs> i'm hitting record under i'm at the g- good four i'm scared now it can't be worse than fool's gold it's taken me this long to recover like oh it sounds very 80s going out tonight changes into something red her mother doesn't like that kind of dress everything she never had she's showing up driving too fast moon is breaking through her hair she's heading for something that she won't forget having no regrets is all that she really wants Okay, um, yes, I don't know. I'm just like trying to think about the lyrically. I don't know. I just need to keep listening. My, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What did you, what did you think it was about up to this point? Me? Yeah. I, okay. Do you really think I was listening to the lyrics? Fucking Lord. I have no idea. Chasing it tonight. Wait, wait! Head. He's waiting, hides behind a cigarette. Heart is beating loud, and she doesn't want it to stop. Moving too fast, moon is lighting up her skin. She's falling, doesn't even know it yet. Having no regrets, it's all that she really wants. Nothing to 
All right, I'm going to have my first criticism of a One Direction song. The key change? No, no, it's oh. not that. The highs, the... Da, 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 that they added that. Not, not, not that's been throughout the song up to this point, but the added highs mm. after the key change, it makes it feel kind of 80s corny. Yeah, I could see that. I could definitely it just, see a, that. Just a little bit. I would take that out because it does make it feel a little bit like, okay, now, like, I get it. Like, it's about change. Like, it's about growing up, you know, like, whatever, despite whatever you think. But, you know, is I, I would have taken that out. But, yeah. small but, critique, know, small critique. One of them was probably friends with Jack Ananoff, and he's standing there. He and said, sit, put a sit. You know, and they're just like, we feel bad Jack hasn't done anything. And they're like, just let him, let him. Yeah, let him. no, and it, it, it just feels, it, that makes it feel a little bit childish. And up to this point, we've had a very, very mature album, like, yeah. production-wise. And so, yeah. And so, and so, guys, like, I don't want you to think any form of criticism is, like, don't take any of it personally. Because, like, I know we get very, very attached to our artists and we're just like, ah, don't say that. But, you know, like, I love One Direction. But, like, I'm just saying that that part I could deal without because that, like, from Steal My Girl, Ready to Run, Where Do Broken Hearts Go, 18 Girl, Mighty Fool's Gold. This is, like, an adult feeling album. This is very mature. This is, like, production, like, stands with some of the best albums that I've ever heard. And so far... The beginning of Night Changes, I get the vision. It's supposed to feel 80s. It's supposed to feel nostalgic. It's supposed to have the heavy sense. But then the key change, I'm fine with the key change, but then you add those ultra highs and you're like, okay. Like, it could be in a Pixar movie. Like, If you want to see something really sad, them being acoustic is like, uh, those guys have been, like, those dudes have been worked way too hard. Whenever yeah. you see it, like bags under the eye, it's it's sad. But Every, everyone in the comments is saying the acoustic is better though. Oh, it's than great. This arrangement, so, um, I mean, yeah, no, I think it. This doesn't fit on this album to me. This sounds like it was a leftover from Midnight Memories, to me. I can see that. So, so far. Going out tonight changes into something red. Her mother doesn't like that kind of dress Reminds her of the missing piece of innocence she loved We're only getting older, baby And I've been thinking about it lately Does it ever drive you crazy? Just how fast the night changes Everything that you've ever No, I, I think it's a good song. It's not the song that I have a problem with. It's the arrangement that I yeah. have the problem with. That I, that I think that. is the thing. No control. Here we go. There you go. Blake, put your shoulders away right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hold on. I'm gonna hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You stop that right now. Um, <laughs> I I just had to confirm what I thought that I heard him say. Um, I think I have a jean jacket here. 
that I could put on. I um I can't put this on the internet. I can't put this on the internet. I can't load this. I can't put this on video. I'm he with I um this um he said waking up beside you. I'm a Like he said, he wrote that. Blake oh! McLean, everyone. Let me add this to my um, <clears throat> playlist, like immediately, because like that's the only place where it belongs. That's like I don't understand. I'm gonna have to look. I can't say that on the internet. Never mind. Alex, filter yourself. Filter yourself. I'm gonna have to look Louis Tomlinson in the eyes, and I have to look him in the eyes, and not. He can't have seen that I said those things on the internet. Like, how much more blatantly, like, fuck music could it be? Like, mm -hmm. like, I don't, I don't, oh, fucking hell. He literally, I'm sorry. This is, Z oh, this is, this is, oh. Leo in my ear. I have, like, studio grade headphones on. Said, said, taste on my tongue. I don't want to wash away the night before. I choked. Control! Oh, poor Alex. No control. Sorry. I'm muting myself now. Why? Because <laughs> of the look I just got. I'm not. Don't. Just don't. Yeah, I don't want. That's. <laughs> I. It's a good song. It's objectively a good song. I just wasn't purple. When you guys were like, it's a sex song. I. 
I wasn't prepped for the loaded gun. I just, I, I. <laughs> so to bring it back, what's the influence? I have nothing to say other, I can't, I can't think of anything other, other than Louis Tomlinson referring to his loaded gun. I don't know where the riff is, but it's Mr. Brightside. I can't think of anything except for <laughs> Louis Tomlinson referring to his loaded I don't i feel i feel dirty now like yeah imagine just like pitching that to the guys and then be like wait what what about you gun what? <laughs> what? no see i feel like he pitched it to what all of them about like, Egon? i feel like niall was the first one to stand up and goes yes <laughs> Niles, I, I love it and harry goes yeah i guess we could do something like that sure, sure whatever i'm sure, harry uh, sure, sure. i'm harry um, I'm, I'm, Harry Hi. fucking Styles. I'm Harry Styles, and there's always a point in stream and in my reaction videos where technical, like classically tra trained vocalist Alex goes out the fucking window, and thirsty bitch fangirl Alex enters the chat, and this is the moment. This you, it's happening. So it was the glass. Of it would. I didn't even. F yeah, I did. Oops. I <laughs> Oops. All right. That guitar tone is beautiful and like that instrumental like between the chorus and that second verse that guitar oh that's so pretty this is like a this is like the first vibey song um that i've heard from them that you just like put on have in the background and just like chill to but the lyrics are still like i'm, I'm not and that's not to say that the lyrics aren't like meaningful and that like i don't hear like the magnitude of them but like it just makes you feel hopeful, you know? Even if you don't hear the lyrics, you feel the hopefulness in them, you know? Oh, I love that. The pulled back vocals.
Yeah. Yeah, it is. And they did a they did a very good job. I think that's a great way to describe it. Like the first verse is like it's that's the down of it. And and Harry's voice is naturally more melancholy. Like his is more is raspier, darker, deeper anyway. And Louis is more delicate, lighter, hopeful. Like it makes you excited anyway. Um that was a good one. That was sweet. And that's that says a lot about who Liam is as a songwriter and as a musician. And like, I'd like to hear more of that. And I'm surprised, like I've never listened to Liam's solo stuff. Um, no, I, Jay Rooster, I don't think it, it's not very dynamic, but I think that's kind of the point. And that's the thing, like when you're One Direction and you have so many heavy hitters, as they do, not all of them have to be, you know? And that's okay. Like, if it's not your thing, that's fine. You know? Um, that's fine if it's not your thing. Uh, uh, when you're, you're One Direction and you've got so many heavy hitters, you get to have a vibey song like that that doesn't have to be so dynamic and it does just, you know, be able to vibe and, you know, not have a lot of changes and it can just change subtly. Yeah. I like it. Uh it 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 would be a good like soundtrack song. That's what it reminds me of honestly. It reminds me of like a something uh, like a a uh, song written for like a soundtrack for a show or a movie or something. You're going to cry. Thank you. You know I appreciate the honesty. Okay, now we are doing spaces. We're doing spaces. We're doing Who's gonna be the first one to start the fight? Who's gonna be the first one to fall asleep at night? Who's gonna be the last one to dry away? Who's gonna be the last one to forget this place? We keep taking turns Like, there's something that makes that sound happy, though. Like, the spaces between us, like, it does feel, it feels a lot like Saturdays. Like, like, you're, like, I don't know, like, lyrically, like, you're, like, waiting, like, both parties are, like, fighting it's not going well the spaces are getting bigger but like neither one of you want to let go so you're just kind of like at the standstill like of who's gonna like pull the trigger first and who's gonna say goodbye first but n neither wants to i mean like it kind of speaks for itself but like you don't think it's a romantic relationship okay um hmm i mean i guess it could oh it's about the band breaking up too damn really Okay. Because to me, I mean, I love songs that can mean so many different people, too. Or I mean about so many different relationships, too. Because, like, it could be about platonic. It could be about romantic. It could be about, you know, like, all about different things. Like, damn. That makes it, yeah, that makes it even sadder to know the backstory. Who's gonna be the first one to compromise?
yeah. <sighs> yeah, I, um, that is, yeah, that, that was good. That, it's that outro, because, I mean, like, you can hear so much of Zane's influence and, like, knowing that that's what it's about and, like, the Easter eggs that they left in the arrangement, like, that makes a lot more sense. Like, that's just, that's a good song. That's it. I mean, there's not really much. I mean, they, the lyrics kind of speak for themselves, you know. Like. I'm back. Stockholm Syndrome. Oh, how oh. convenient. Ash, come here, little boy. Uh, if he ever lets me come see him in Florida again, I'll be, like, on his stream in person. And then we'll, like, do that thing. All right. Stockholm I'll Syndrome. Say, do the weird puppet thing, because I will. Do it. Do it right now. Do it right now. So when Alec, mm, no, because you, you hate me. <laughs> I do not hate you. You hate me and you never want me to come and see you again. It's not true. You hate me and you never want me to come and see you in Florida again. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. That's what you're doing. <laughs> and that's on the internet forever. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Cammy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Elisa, I'm with you tonight. <laughs> God. And Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, play the song. <laughs> what just happened? <sighs> what a weird job. Who's that shadow holding me hostage? I've been here for days. Oh, that's pretty. Telling me that I'm never gonna get away. I know they'll be coming to find me soon. But I This is Blake singing from my closet. I'm getting used to <laughs> being held by you. I love this shit. I love this shit. I think this might be my favorite. What did I just say that about? What did I just say? Fool's Gold. Okay, Fool's Gold is on a different spectrum, my favorite One Direction song, and I think this on the, a different spectrum is my favorite One Direction song. Can I also say, just to chat, I feel like, and Alex won't know until she gets there, but I feel like they tried to do this again with What a Feeling, but couldn't quite do Stockholm Syndrome. I need, a lot of people say What a Feeling is their favorite One Direction song, though. It's one of my favorites, too. It's, like, freaking up there. But it doesn't it doesn't have the same, like, weird syncopation to it, and so it doesn't hit quite as hard, but it still hits oh, really syncopation. Hard. That's a good... Look at you knowing things. Um, yeah. This is a fucking banger. What you done now? Oh. I use a lot to 
Okay, wait. Let me clarify. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, you need to. I knew. I knew exactly what that statement was going to cause. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. That's yeah. Not what I meant. Okay, so like. Hurry up. Clear your. Name. What a feeling is the same like vibe. It's like they try to do sort of the same thing, but they end up with one of like what a feeling. What a feeling hits in a different way because of the way that the vocals come in on the chorus. But for this one, it's like a completely different vibe. It just has the same like. It ended up with the same like. Um, Oh my god it's like if you're cooking something and you have a recipe and you're you're like okay i'm gonna do this 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 and this you're using all of the same elements but you're ending up with something completely different you know if you just kind of play with it but yeah so they really can't be compared in that sense but like what i'm saying is like they tried to make stockholm syndrome again and they ended up with what a feeling if that makes any sense at all okay you'll understand when you hear it, you'll understand, yeah. All right, we have a get what we... Okay. I I love this a lot. I love this a lot. Willow, stop being a monster for 35 seconds. We're listening to our Lord and Saviors, okay? This is the whole... Um, what what does this remind me of? The drums remind me of something, and it's Taylor Swift something. It's it's all Jack. I mean, you even have uh, the it's fucking Jack. Yeah, that. Yeah, that echo was nice. I was low key fighting. I know. I knew as soon as Blake said that shit, I was like, "Oh no, <laughs> here we go." Yeah, but I, Alex knows it's not what I meant. I knew it's not what he meant. I guys, he just. I know. I I knew. I knew. Yeah, no, that was fun. I I like that one a lot. I love the pre-chorus on that one. Ooh, that was a good one. Mm, fun. What I didn't know. What a good work use of Stockholm syndrome. Like, I don't know. Like there was a lot of different ways that, I mean, okay. There's not a lot of different ways that like the metaphor of like feeling stock, like being in Stockholm syndrome could go, you know, like when you have Stockholm syndrome, it's you've been around someone so much that you're a victim. You don't realize you're a victim and you like now feel like that you're in a partnership with them. Right. Right. Yeah. But like what, what a good use of it like it, it was a good decision to not put it as like a chorus hook line and instead just like slide it in there as a tail end of a verse pre-chorus instead yeah because stockholm syndrome is like when you're kidnapped and yeah you it's like it's like patty hearst like you've been kidnapped you're a victim but you remain with somebody for so long that it like fucking fucks with your brain chemistry that you think that you're one of them and you don't realize that you're a victim anymore. You think that you're a partner. You think that you're, they're your friends and sometimes even your lover, even though you're actually a victim. And so to the yep. point that you'll commit crimes for them or you'll do bad things for them. And when people try to rescue you, you don't want to be rescued. Yeah. It's a good one. Banger. It's a good one. It's a good one. All right. Now we're doing clouds. I know you say that you don't like it complicated That we should try to keep it simple But love is never ever simple, no Did Louis write this shit? This sounds like a Louis song. I'm looking at it right now, actually. 
I was just double checking that Jack Andanoff had nothing to do. You with were him. like, ah, fucking Jack, he's everywhere. Because it's all like a Juno sixty synth, like you can just tell. Um, yeah, Louis. Yeah, it was uh, Louis, Liam, and Zane, and then John Ryan, Julian Veneta, uh, Jamie Scott. Look at like, me! Three. Look at me! I'm a full blown Louis now. That's gonna get clipped into a TikTok. There's a TikTok of me crying to something great that has 20,000 views on it right now on the internet. I can't even imagine what they're going to get out of this one. <laughs> uh, probably me whispering um, Louie's loaded gun ASMR style into the mic. That would probably be, um, that's probably going to go viral. Also, I'm just saying, if you view my TikTok, if you view a TikTok, at least subscribe to me on YouTube, guys. Come on. At least. Come on. I'm on your for you page sometime. Oh God. That you don't like it complicated. That we should try to keep it simple. I'm scared. Love is never ever simple. No. Someday you're gonna see the things that I see. You're gonna want the air that I breathe. You're gonna wish you never left me. Here we go. Oh yeah. I love when you hear the songs where Louis Tomlinson had his way and you can tell that he had his way because this is his sound and you know that it's been his sound the whole time. Like this, Blake, not it won't spoil it. This is what he did with Night Changes. Mm. Yeah. This yeah, this Hell is, yeah. That's what it needed. And You're the, right. And the, yeah. Wait, what was that? Hey, one more time. You're right. Thank you. Um, and yes, like this has been his sound the whole time, which is what I hate when the critic reviews say that Faith in the Future, he didn't find his sound. The rock sound has been his, the pop punk leaning into harder rock sound has been his this whole time. Clouds, he had his way with it. I fucking love it. Love it. Love it. Oh! I also, I want the Liam slander to stop. I feel bad. I love him. I really do like Liam. Like, I, I feel bad that he kind of like, I think his solo debut, I've never heard it also, but like, I wish he would have had more control on it. I don't think he was given a lot of control on it. Am I right on that read? Or I think he might have just gone in a direction that I don't think it was like the right one for it him. It wasn't right for him? Okay. Because no, I, I, I heard, I've never listened to it, but I heard he had a lot of features. And... He's an amazing, an amazing freaking singer. And he had a lot of people like, one of the things with like Strip That Down, do you know how many people wrote on that album, which, or not that album, but that song? Mm -mm. Hold on. So there is Steve Mack, Brian Thompson, Charles Miller, Ed Sheeran, Harold Brown, Howard Scott, Leroy Jordan, Lee Oscar, Liam Payne, Morris Dickerson, Orville Burrell, Cuevas Marshall, which yeah. is... Yeah, you know, it's just like, and like three, Liam, three. like, it through Fireproof, like, if that's his sound, like, do that, dude. Do vi do do vibey music. Like, do, do jam band stuff then, you know? I'm like you that, that guy belongs in stripped down, like, Gavin DeGraw, like... Like acoustic August jam band, uh, like, yeah. Like, like yeah. give me that. Like, yeah. Like, he would crush can you imagine? Can you imagine Liam singing 
Uh, you know that song, The Best I Ever Had? You are the best I ever had. And I... He would kill that shit. Like, oh, that song. He would do... He would kill it. Or can chat hear my, hear my computer, maybe? I don't know. I'll play it, and we'll see. Imagine Liam singing something like this. Yeah, turn it up and we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he'd kill that. Or like this. Hold on. Because this is what I'm talking about. Like, I said this, I saw one video. I was like, God, his freaking tone. Yeah, Life, Lifehouse, um, Gavin DeGraw, or, and there's yeah. another one I'm thinking from that same. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh my God, he would, he would be. I just be, think I really do. I've not heard it. Um, I really haven't, but Blake and I have talked about it and I'm not, I'm not going to get into it here, but like, I, I do think that he should, I wanted to see more of him, you know? And I think Louis, we watched him fall into a little bit of like doing what the labels wanted him to do with the first couple singles, like the Steve Aoki shit and whatever. And like, you know, like, but since then, like, hold on, he plays it live. He plays a rock version. That's Louis sound. You know what I mean? He got away from it. He found what he wanted to do. It's fine now. But like each of those guys had that trial period, but Liam just didn't break away from that. I, you know, and I, I'd, I'd love to see, cause his, his voice is fucking awesome. Like I, 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 I miss it. I want it more. I'd listen to his stuff. Like, and I want to see his writing and Blake. Hey, grandpa. I was just going to see, cause I think I have. Yeah. Liam just got lost in it. Yeah. It makes me sad. Like I, I really do wish that. Yeah. Let me see. I think I did message Liam and was like, dude, I have a great idea. I would love to work with you on anything. Yeah. I did. I literally did. Like, look at this long message I sent Liam. Yeah, we tried. We're not, we're, we're, we're not famous <laughs> enough yet. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, no, I'm not saying the Steve collab was bad. I just don't think it was like Louis niche yet. And now he's found it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying it was bad. Like, um, I think Hold On was a good song, but... Um, but okay. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled programming. I will rant about how much I like Liam's voice once a day. Oh, I love that riff. Fuck. that guitar riff into my veins that's so good i like that i like that a lot i like it a lot i like it a lot i like it really a lot good. Um, donuts are good um, I, like. I like donuts donuts are good oh that's good um alex i gotta go i gotta go down and make dinner for everybody uh. but 
I'm going to tweet at Liam Payne and I expect everybody to please retweet it because I do want to write for him and I have ideas. I know he could do it. Can he so. sing a duet on my album? If we can make that happen, we will make it happen. And it will be amazing. Because what if... We'll just, we'll just get each one of the guys from 1D to feature on a different song and not tell them all until we put your album out. And, and then, then there everyone, it is. Oh my god, it's... <laughs> yeah, but but if but if he sang a duet on Pretty Hurtful Words, that would be so pretty. It really would. God. Actually, that would... That'd be gorgeous. And that's right up his alley. Yeah, I know. And, like, we could rewrite it to where, like, one verse is, like, I'm writing songs about you. The other verse is you're writing songs about me. And, like, the, the bridge converges, you know? Like, and then... Yeah. Damn. Yeah, don't break the Wonderland. I would do what James Corden failed to do. <laughs> okay. So, apparently he doesn't have Twitter anymore. Um, so he has a Discord. You message me and, and let me know the best way to get a hold of Liam because I've been like thinking on that for a while and I've had the exact same thought for a while and I know what would do well for him and it wouldn't be that hard so discord I don't know where on discord Alex help me um yes sir okay thank you mm -hmm. all right guys I'm gonna go I gotta make dinner so call me I've later had... with that song okay also illusion is um heaven is a place on earth so enjoy I'm sick of him. I love y'all. Bye. Bye. All right. We're doing change your ticket. Oh my God. What the hell? Yeah, this is like out... Yeah, this one, okay, so this one and Night Changes feels like it should have been, they feel like they should have been on Midnight Memories, to me. Um, but the concept is cute. Like, change your ticket home. Like, I think that's cute. That's cute. Oh, you should probably stay here with me. Camera. Yep, thank you. Oh my gosh, why am I not putting my shit on chargers? I'm turning it on to Blake Clank. And we're back. I'm turning, I'm literally turning into Blake. <laughs> When you said you come over Are we way past that Playing hard to get We did that when we were younger When you say It's hard to keep a secret Girl, hey! don't leave me all alone in this hotel And these shades Can hide us from the streets, yeah One weekend, I promise that I'll never
Zane? Is that Zane? I'm waiting on chat to tell me if that's Zane. Is that Zane? Sometimes his diction is terrible. Um, and I am, I am, I am one person to, I, 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 my diction is terrible. Um, but just like, I was thinking in that moment, like, good Lord, what is he saying? Cause I'm not looking at the lyrics, but like in that moment, I'm like, what the fuck is he saying? <laughs> oh my God. Like what the fuck? Um, just, just an aside. Um, I'm working on my diction a lot right now, but no, oh, I like it. Yeah, it's it's very R and B. Like it's very R and B. Like it doesn't matter what you're saying; it matters about how you're saying it. Yeah. Um, he's a mumbler. Uh, so diction is a uh, when when you're a singer, um, diction is about how you pronounce your words. So like, if I I sing something like this. You know, I'm very articulate. It's much more Broadway-esque. My diction is like for more Broadway, but like Zayn is singing it. Uh, he's using a more like Broadway or like a more R&B diction. Like, I sing something like this. You know, like mumbling it and like slurring his words. His diction's not very good. Like he's not, it's not very articulate. So, you know, like, you know, whatever. Yeah, Spidey. <laughs> I was a, my diction was always bad, and my vocals teachers were like, "Dude, what the fuck are you saying?" Like always. I once had a true story. I once had to negotiate a grade um, in one of my music classes because they were like, "Your diction's you're gonna fail diction," and I was like, "I know." Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like, and so the perfect. Jackie, the, um, if you guys, you guys probably don't care, but like, I'm going to tell you anyway, you guys know the, uh, the, pl the musical waitress and the song, um, when is it when he sees her, when he sees me, when he sees me, he does it. What is that? What is that song? You know what I'm talking about? What is that one? It's that one. It's by the real nerdy girl that sings it. That song, her diction, fantastic. That is the song that's like from the back of the fucking theater. You know what she is saying. And my sister can sing that shit. Um, yeah, like she she nails that shit. Oh, it's so good. Uh, but, but my sister was like, that is how. She was like, if you can... If you can nail that song, you got your addiction. I cannot. So, oh, that just cracked me up. Cause like, cause like Luke Hemmings does the same thing. Wild Oakley has appeared. This is an Oakley. She's a needy baby. Thank you. You're such a sweet baby. A wild baby. An Oakley. Kisses for you. Oh, Willow just took my headphones off. It's fine. We're just falling apart.
my broke one. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a fun one. It it would have fit on Midnight Memories better. For, oh God, Willow. They, they hit this point. Willow, Willow's a disaster. Willow, Willow is a disaster. All right, guys, we've got Elisa. That was a good one. I mean, it was like fun, but I don't like have any feelings about it. You know what I mean? Like it's like eh, it's like I'll know the words, like but like whatever, you know. Change your ticket according to Matt Healy. Is that the boys asked to write with him, and they already had the song written, but it sounded exactly like girls, but basically just asked him for his permission. Or, oh. Oh, well, that's kind of like a bummer. Illusion is a Liam song. Oh, God. Discord's more like a chat platform. So, like, it's fun. Tell me you believe in love. It's not a oh, this is... Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. For sure. No, 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 no. I've been thinking about the nights and the dangerous tricks people play on the eyes of the innocent. I could turn a lot of hearts into breaks with smoke and mirrors disappearing right in front of them. But believe oh, me, the acoustic guitar. I'm not trying to deceive you. I promise falling for me. I feel like Liam, like songwriting. Oh God, I'm so glad Blake's not here for, to listen to me say this because he would burn my ass. Um, um, so Liam, I think songwriting wise is a girls. We're listening to One Direction. Shh. Liam is a good verse writer. Okay, he's a good verse writer, but like with Fireproof, he's not got the dynamic switch down, and so he needs somebody to step in and write a chorus or a hook or a bridge. And so he's got, he's got solid verse melodies, solid bridge melodies, but he, it feels like they just kind of squish a chorus melody in there that doesn't really fit. And he needs, it feels like the producers just kind of use him as a throwaway and that's not really fair. Like I wish somebody would have like written with him more. I don't know. Like, did it say anything in the documentary about, like, who wrote with him or what his, like, what his place was in writing with the group? Any? No. Liam said himself that he's better at melodies. Okay, so he's, like, the melody guy. Yeah, I mean, if that's his thing, then that's his thing. Like... Liam was very known for his voice and vocal ability. I just uh, often didn't get credit as a dog. Uh, girls! Girls. What if we didn't? Um, he does the melodies. Liam does the melodies. Yeah. And Louis is better. I mean, yeah, Louis is, Louis is a lyrical fucking genius. I love your dog. I'm glad you love them. You can have, if you want a um, one-year-old Kane Corso Golden Retriever mix puppy, um, you could come get one for free. Um, we'll eventually need a Romy play date with your dogs. Yes, yes, you can have it. Um, with um, just Willow. need to figure out how to fly her over. <laughs> yeah, well, Willow would um, Willow will go home with anyone at all. Um, I could take Willow to an airport, and she would be like, "Are you my new family? Are you my new family? You're my best friend now. You're my new family. Oh my god, I love you." And I am kidnapping Willow. You, she would. She would be. She would be like, "Who's my mom? You are." And she would never remember. Romy, do you want a new friend? Yes, would love. That's the golden retriever she in her. She did not Just, even look up. She said. Mm. She did not even look up. At Didn't me. even she care. Like, no. She said, "Don't bring that <laughs> thing here." Oakley is like, "Please, for the love of God, come get her." I went to my friend's house today, and she has a golden retriever. And every single time I come home, and she, Romy smells me like the other dog on me, she just licks every single inch of my body that has been touched by that other dog. I was like, no, no, I don't like you. Let me let me so, just, let's just back up. Liam is a puppy. Liam is a golden retriever. Louis is Romy. That is true. Yeah, I can see that. 
Yeah. The attitude is there. The attitude nice. is there. Yeah. No, that's how Sky is. Sky's like nice, but Sky is like mom. Like I am mom. Willow will Willow would let a burglar in the house and like let somebody walk away with her in a heartbeat. Um <sighs> All right, illusion. What are we doing? I don't even know what we're doing at this point. This is not an illusion. There's magic between you and me. No, baby, this is not an illusion. You really got me lifted off my feet. So tell me you believe in love. Because it's not an illusion to me. You don't ever have to worry about me, about how the car. For I'm all that you need tonight I would never turn your heart into broken parts You don't have to think twice looking in my eyes Can't you see it? I'm not trying to mislead you I promise falling for me Okay, so this is that was better than the like because what was the one Liam song on Midnight Memories? It was um, both melodies and lyrics, but I enjoyed the melodies. Yeah, he did good on the lyrics. I liked that better than what was that one? Hold on, let me go home because it's on my recent Midnight Memories deluxe. Was it alive? Alive or where I'm looking at now? Or was it Does He Know? It was the one that sounded like Jesse's girl. Yeah. It was Does He Know. Okay, so yeah. on um, Alive sounded more disjointed. So Illusion, that was like the Liam song. that I liked that better than I liked Does He Know. It, it sounded more cohesive. Um... It's, like, not one of my favorites, but, like, it's a good song. And it definitely, like, Liam seems to, like, his vibe is, like, much more, like, heart of the 80s, like, lyrics and melody-wise. Um, but I think Blake's right, don't God, to, I hope he never watches this fucking video, um, is, like, he, he falls more, like, he needs, like, more acoustic, strip down, let his vocal shine, let his melody shine, like, you know, that's where he needs to be. Because, like, you know, that's what he's got going for him is his fucking, his vocals. Like, you know, and, like, Illusion kind of covers it up. So, you know. Yeah, no. Illusion took a while to grow on me as well, so I, I will okay. agree with you on that. Okay. So it's a grower. It's a grower. Not a shower. It is a grower. All right. Once in a lifetime. Wreck me. It's 
just right We make no mistakes Not even a landslide Or riptide Could take it all away Somehow It feels like nothing has changed Right now My heart is beating the same Out loud Someone's calling my name It sounds like you When I close my eyes All the stars alive And you are by my side You are by my side Once in a lifetime It's just right nope. And we are always safe Not even the bad guys In the dark night Why does Louie have to Just have to I don't know why he can do that to me Fucking fucking fuck fuck I eh. <sighs> Could take it all away Somehow Feels like nothing has changed right now. My heart is beating the same. Out loud, someone's calling my name. And it sounds like you. When I close my eyes. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I dissociated a little bit to get through that one. Um, that's gonna... No! I, like, I don't. I, uh, uh, they never did that live. I mean, I can see why. <laughs> I feel like it would have broken literally everyone. I mean, I feel, I feel like that's like the equivalent of kind of like only the brave. Like they probably let that be so short just cause like they let it, can I help you, sir? Uh, they like let it sit where it is, you know, like it just, they said what they needed to say. Aww, but then I... Louis did perform only the brave and it does hold a lot of like special meaning to a lot of fans. Yeah. And just that performance live does bring a lot to it. I don't know. So then why did they so... never do that one live? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, this again, like, a lot of the last, for me personally, a lot of the last songs on 4, like, took, except Act My Age, took a while for me to, like, actually appreciate and like. Mm -hmm. And I think, for me, that personally also came with, like, age. But, um, yeah. I don't know. It is a really pretty song. Yeah, no, it's pretty. Mm. All right. Last song on the album. Act My Age. Studio version. Happy. Happiness. Happy. There's happy. Whoa. Holy. What in the Irish? What in the Nile Horn am I listening to?
A rock, now rock. Okay. They said, what do you want the last song in the album to be? Irish. Blake, he's in bed. That was chaotic. They said, what do you want the last song to be? Irish. Okay, but how, how Irish? Yes. That was the best way they could have ended it though. No, there's no, there's no other way you end that album. There's just simply Absolutely. not another way that you end that album. <laughs> yeah, so that was the only, that was the only way. Okay, well, YouTube, this is the outro for YouTube, not for stream, but YouTube, if you're still here, that was our four reaction. Editing Alex is pissed at this point because I've got a lot of editing to do, but thank you for watching. If you've not yet, sub, ring the bell as the other YouTubers say, like the video, say hi to Elisa. Um, go follow, subscribe to Blake McLean, who was here earlier. I'm sure that if you're here, you already know who he is. But, um, And thanks for watching. Go check out my Patreon, because everything we do after this, all these live reactions to One Direction stuff, will be on my Patreon. So, till next time, which will be very, very soon, um, because the BTS t fandom told me that I have to watch um, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, and I'm scared. Okay, bye.